Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays Darkest Dungeon. What can I really say? The last mission, should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad. My wife is now the deadest stock in the neighbor. It doesn't really make any sense. That being said, uh, I think it's a good thing that we brought back so much gold. We have 24,000 gold. Bear and Nick are almost leveled up. Quill is going to become our new A-Team DPS. But we need to get some more people on the actual A-Team. Or, like, to level 3, I guess I should say. But we've got to beat the Swine Prince at level 1 before we do that. This might be our opportunity to do so. Um, we didn't pick up any more portraits, so we can't upgrade the guild or anything like that. Let's start with the obvious. Stress relief. Bad gambler. Uh, shouldn't gamble, then. We'll only visit the brothel for stress relief. Alright, well, that'd be a problem solved, basically. You are going to go here. Bear Taffy. We'll never drink. Minus 10% stress heal. I don't think that matters. We'll never drink and we'll never meditate. What's his stress at? It's like 90-something, right? 80. Oh, that's it's better. Um, I can throw him in the abbey and maybe have him do transept. And then I think that'll give him enough to, to come back to life. Or not to come back to life, but you know what I mean. Uh, we might want to, you know, we base. I don't want to use portraits, though. What do, what do busts? What what uses busts? We have so many busts. As, busts is a... Uh, well, we almost have enough to upgrade our infirmary, but, you know, I kind of just want to reduce the treatment cost. We can probably do it twice, Experiment so our treatment cost has been reduced by a lot. And then we should, we're going to send out a, the B team, I think, to kill the Swine Prince. And I think this is something that a lot of people have talked about uh, as being, like, nearly fatal every time. Like, the Swine Prince, super annoying. But do we have a, a suitable A team? Sort of. We have kind of a desperation A team. Or B team, I should say. We have Liza Minnelli. We can roll our um, bounty hunter in the third slot. We could roll our highwayman in this slot. And does Liza Minnelli have anything that moves her forward? Is there an attack that moves her forward? There's not. Okay. But there is an attack that moves, math or that moves highwayman backwards. Like, you can use point blank shot to move... F oh, that doesn't move you forward. What moves you backwards? Duelist Advance moves you forward, then you need to have like a Crusader that can move you backwards. Okay, I get it. Um, we should also, before we do that, see what we have in our Stagecoach. I was looking for a healer, but we don't have a healer. Um, what do we need out of this? It might not be the worst idea to get another Leper, but we, are, we have so much DPS. I think we need another Jester. And then, honestly, I'm going to dismiss the other two, unless they're truly amazing. The Plus 10% scouting chance. Uh, that seems like they're going to get stressed out super quick. We can't even dismiss them. The only way we could do it is by, like, pulling them in here. I mean, I mean this only uses crests. Uh, that's not that bad. Should have kept a deed and upgraded that and then pulled them all in here. Okay, whatever. Um... The, the real problem with this, and the reason that I actually won't be able to fight the Swine Prince right now, and I botched this uh, kind of miserably here, is that we need a healer. And we don't have a level 1 healer. We could roll out with a Jester. Yeah, we not even two Jesters. But I think we actually have to do a level 3 mission, and then, you know, come back, and then get a healer from our Stagecoach and buff them up. But let's go to our Sanitarium first and treat some of the people that don't need Stress Relief. So Nick doesn't need Stress Relief. Um, he, he doesn't really seem like he needs anything fixed, though. Like, he's doing alright. Quill will probably, definitely be going out on this mission. Um, Liza Minnelli won't. She's gonna be our new Hellion, so... After seeing troubling behavior, will not take t part in prayer in town. None of her abilities are that bad, either. I mean, I guess it's a good thing, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, we got so much money. Obsessed with cleanliness, obsessed with killing, fear of Eldritch, lower range damage. Look, I don't know if this is worth it, but we did just reduce the cost of it, so sure. Lower range damage for 900 gold, goodbye. Um, Quill is going out on this mission, so we will try to treat maybe... Uh, or sorry, Quill's not going out on this mission. No, Quill is going out on this mission, so we'll try to treat Liza Minnelli. She's not that bad, but it's pretty cheap to just get rid of, like, will not take part in prayer. This is just basically a, an insulating precaution to make sure that if she gets, like, will only pray, then we can actually not take an extra week to have to deal with her bullshit now that we have the money and the time. So this will be a level 3 mission. 
Quill, Mathis, Malls, Josh. Quill, Mathis, Malls, Josh. Yeah, it should be good enough. I want to take a quick look at um, how we set up this party. Because I've been rolling Jester slot 4 occasionally and it sucks. Is there anything that we can... Like, Lunge causes a move. Or, sorry, Dirk Stab causes a move. What I want to do, basically, I'll tell you, I'll pull the veil back. I want Mathis to be able to throw out a point-blank shot. Because it does a lot of damage and also knocks targets around. But then I want someone to be able to pop in over top of that. Uh, over top of that point-blank shot and push Mathis back one. If that makes sense. So does Quill have a move that pushes him forward? No, he has a knockback move. Nothing that moves him forward, though. Hmm. We might we might have to just say no to this, because we do need to put Quill... It actually doesn't matter if Quill's in the front. We can actually put Mathis in the front, and it should be fine. Um, is anyone not upgraded here? Maul's still kind of sucks, but we might as well upgrade her on the blacksmith here while we have a chance. Our blacksmith itself can't be upgraded. That's fine. Okay, so she's going to get armor. I can't believe I hadn't upgraded her up to this point. She's She's been like our principal healer. And we should have Mathis get his armor upgraded as well. Like, well, there's no reason for him to be less upgraded than Josh. Sorry, this is the guild. We'll go back to the blacksmith here. And yes, this is totally in compensation for the fact that we... Uh, got hit so much on the last mission that we lost a unit. So, <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, let's overcompensate and build ourselves back up here. Now, let's look at some abilities here. Mathis has Wicked Slice 2. Pistol Shot 2, Grape Shot 2, Duelist Advance 1. We don't really need more than that. I think he's fine. Mauls has Judgment 1, Dazzling Light 2, Divine Grace 2, Divine Comfort 1. Maybe we want to get rid of her party heal because we never use it. And instead pick up... Well, Mace Bash isn't going to do much. Hand of Light debuffs units. And, oh, it only hits in the first two spots. Illumination... Well, she's going to be in the fourth slot. So this is actually the only... Permutation that actually makes sense, but we should take her to the guild here and upgrade Divine Light because we're using it like crazy. Or sorry, upgrade Judgment. It just does a little bit more damage, but we're using it all the time. It has a better crit chance too, and it's cheap to upgrade, so I think that's that's fine. Um, J Smith OTI has Dirk Stab One, Harvest Two, Slice Off One, and Party or Battle Ballad Two. If we're not going to roll him in the first slot, we don't need Solo, even though it is kind of nice to debuff the enemies. Heroic End, he's not going to be in the second slot, so he doesn't need it. Inspiring Tune, he's not going to be in the back slot. So this is the proper setup here. We might want to go higher on the Dirk Stab, and maybe higher on Slice Off. We'll see, though. I mean, like, why not buff him high? I do use those attacks, but I tend to use Harvest a little more. But yeah, this will give us an extra... Crit, uh, double the crit chance and uh, 5 extra accuracy, sorry. Not extra damage, extra accuracy, which is great. And it's pretty cheap. Why don't we just get the next level of slice off as well. And finally, Quill. Chop 2. Hue 2. Solemnity. And Intimidate. I think we should probably try to buff up both of those last two abilities. Or consider if we want to use something else. Focus buffs himself. Revenge lowers his accuracy but causes him to do a ton more damage. Intimidate, if we buff it, what does it get? Better accuracy. Just better accuracy? Ah, uh, I'll take it. I'll upgrade Solemnity as well. I think this is the way we want to set this up, actually. Now, we will embark. We spent a lot of money, but we did it to improve our team here. So we're going to go for a level 3 mission. Maybe we can actually... We want to do level 3... Um, le sorry, level 4 is killing the Necromancer. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this even though it seems you know pliable here. We're gonna do Quill in the front, and then Josh in number three, Marl's in the back, Mathis right here. I think this is pretty good. Let's look at our trinket inventory. And we'll start with Quill. He's actually got some dodge now. Do we have uh leper only items? No. What did we just get? We just got something amazing. Let's take all the trinkets off. The Sun Cloak, I always want off. Don't we get a scroll or something here? No? Okay. Um, I think I put it on Nick. Nick gets extra bonus on ranged attacks, but less accuracy at the front. If we're not going to put Mathis at the front, plus 15% accuracy for him seems stupid good. Uh, I don't want to just give him something shitty. Well, shitty-ish. 
And we'll go over to Mathis here, who has nothing, and we'll give him this for extra accuracy on ranged attacks. And, uh, what's his dodge? His dodge is 20. Maybe I'll just give him a sun cloak. Like, is he going to be our principal damage dealer? With high accuracy, why not give him extra damage is what I'm thinking. Steady Bracer is probably something that we'll give to Quill instead. So let's pull Quill up here. We'll give him Steady Bracer. I like, I, on melee classes, I actually really like Steady Bracer Sun Cloak. So I think we'll, we'll roll out with that. Our healer. Uh, accuracy would be nice, but... Oh, plus 15% to stun and bleed. Plus 10% heal. Oh, leper only healing band. I actually think that's okay, even though it does lower our max HP by almost 5. We can take the sun cloak off. Yeah, we'll take the sun cloak off, put the healing amulet on. Lowers it by 4. That's okay. And then we can give the sun cloak maybe to Mathis for the extra dodge chance. Yeah, that should work. Apologies for this taking forever. Josh has two items already. Basically just to up his resistances. I think it's okay. And if we're not going to be using bleeding attacks anyway, are we not going to be using... We're not going to be using bleeding attacks anyway, so we don't need like a bleed amulet. We have extra uh, buffs to stuns. Extra buffs to stuns. Bleed resist. Extra speed, but much lower accuracy. Well, this is going to be on her... Maybe it's best to have her just with some stress resist. Alright, this is going to be a short mission in the Warrens. Complete 100% of room battles. We already spent like 15 minutes here getting this set up. But anyway, I'm going to take uh, 12 food. I'm going to go a little lower on torches and only take 8. I'm going to try to be better with my provisions. I'm going to take 2 of those, 2 of those, 1 of these, 1 shovel. 2 shovels, just in case. Spent a lot of money on provisions. That's okay. I'm ready to go. Complete 100% of room battles or explore 90% of rooms I forgot. I think it's 100% of room battles. Let's see how the party does now. They breed quickly down there in the dark. I think we're going to go like all the way around in the cycle here and then we'll see what happens with the uh, this room down here because we might not need to go to it in the first place. I don't really like this. Hold up, says Mathis. Nothing must be left undisturbed. The sight is too much for the hero to bear. Plus 25 stress. Mathis, you're not that bright right now. I'm just going to be straight with you. Not a fantastic start for us in terms of our uh, first encounter. Okay, we got large corpse eater. We've been surprised. Uh, it doesn't get much worse than this surprise right here. I think we have to roll a duelist advance so we can do all of our attacks. So we'll throw this out against the large corpse eater first. Oh, but then Quill's got to move, too. Oh, fuck it. So stupid. Pig Spear is such a pain in the dick. I don't want you to lunge. I mean, Harvest is really bad here. What if we just go for Slice Off? What's the bleed? 95% bleed resist! Oh, my God! And Mauls has to fall back. <laughs> oh, 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 I hate that this game auto saves all the time. <laughs> okay, just get in there. Pistol shot, whatever. It's damage. I don't think it matters what you do. You can't even harvest. All right, move back then so Quill can get up. And then Mauls, you're gonna move back and we, we can operate from this area. Please don't debuff my, my leper. He's marked and debuffed with lower accuracy. Crunching backhand. That's a nice dodge. I appreciate that, Quill. All right, let's get this fucking show on the road. Uh, Chop. Destroy. Kill. Maim. I want them to bleed. Oh, the double crit there is actually really huge. I don't really care about the bleed because it was only one point anyway. Mathis now can do a Grape Shot, but he can also do a Wicked Slice, which has an 80% chance to hit, small chance of killing. Grape Shot's not so good. Duelist Advance. Actually, Duelist Advance puts him in the position we want him to be in. That's okay. It still moves him. 
And we're back to where we should be. With Mathis getting fucking critted. Lovely. Boar Rush. I bet that moves us back. No? Oh, we resisted. Okay. So there's no doubt about it. We have to use Divine Grace. Leper got healed. Good dice roll. We're starting to come back here. Yeah. The Corpse Eater will be dead soon. Then we can fo focus on the other guy. What do you think? Intimidate? Knock it back? Did some damage. Resisted the move. D did get debuffed, though, for lower accuracy. That could be very helpful. All right. Heal Mathis. Yeah, Harvest. Nice! Did get hit by the bleed. Miss. 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 Ugh. How is your... Where are you going? Trot retreat. You can't go anywhere. I don't get it. We're going to buff ourselves up a little bit here. Now that we have a little bit more time, basically. Our debuff is gone. Oh. Okay. Life's good. Stress is coming back down. We will get the kill here. Mauls, might as well go for the kill and heal yourself. They have a 95% stun resist. It's such horse shit. The bigger the beast. Man. The greater that was nasty. The Ooh, a speed stone. Interesting. Makeshift dining table. Let's do it. Jester seems like they'd be good to check this out. Everything has been eaten. Could be worse, honestly. We got some scouting. I really thought it would cover all the rooms, but that's okay. Well, that was just a, it was really unfortunate that we got surprised there, and then I made some mistakes on top of that. Shit happens. Such blockages are unsurprising. Such blockages are unsurprising. Yeah, that's what my cardiologist said. <laughs> I apologize, that was tasteless. Okay, nothing here. No scouting. Let's move along. I mean, this should be a relatively short mission. What is this shit? Moonshine Barrel. Goodbye. I'm not touching that. I thought about lighting it on fire. It seems like Moonshine plus uh, fire would probably be a bad combination for us. Quill gets to go first. Intimidate... Once... Mm. No chance to kill unless we crit. I don't think the self-heal is the right choice. Yeah, bring uh, bring the Acolyte, or sorry, the Enchantress closer so that we can actually make this happen. We can kill her, hopefully, before things get too problematic. That's a two-point bleed, so we will do something about that. Uh, we'll try a Harvest here. Maybe get a, a small bleed. No, that's okay. A little damage over time. Mathis will heal up. And then, uh, you know, Grape Shot Blast. Unlikely to kill. Pistol Shot. Possible. Let's try the pistol shot for the kill then. Wow! Give them no that was a pretty sweet crit. If I'd known that was going to happen, I probably would have tried to throw it out, to throw it out against the uh, Enchantress, but that's okay. Uh, with our leper being pushed so far back, I don't like it. Stun resist is not that high. 58% chance, and then, so it's like a 25% chance of this actually hitting a stun. I'd rather just take the guaranteed heal. Round two. Let's... I want to go first. Yeah. <laughs> we get to move Quill back into position. Um, we don't want a Dirk Stab. Might go for a Slice Off here. Oh, that's good damage. And they did get Bled, so they don't have much time left. 5 HP. They're being Bled for two. Let's go for the kill. Nice. As the fiend falls, so they only have one unit left. If they bleed us, that's okay. We have the inventory uh, to deal with it. This is going to go fine. And a nice dodge at the end, too. Hopefully, Mauls will get to go early here. And I'm actually going to throw out, like, a self-heal for zero. Oh, I scared the shit out of me at first. One damage. That's fine. We do get bleed. We'll bandage that up. But first, heal Mathis. And he'll get bled for two. We'll bandage him up, and then he'll go for the kill. But Josh should be able to finish it one way or the other here. All right. It's a start. Not going to earn nearly as much gold on this mission as we did on the last mission. But I think that that is totally okay as long as we live. What is this? Eldritch Altar. That's more of an occultist thing, so I'm going to skip it. 
Probably didn't need to take 12 food now that I'm looking at our situation here. But if we end up on death's door, maybe it'll... It'll prove worthwhile. The crate is empty. Extra torch. Never hurt anybody. Might not necessarily help all that much, but... I'm trying to keep light high, just so we do have a better chance of scouting and surprise. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting. We might only have like two rooms left, honestly. Like two rooms of actual combat. We'll see. Well, there's going to be some encounter there. No encounter there, so we actually don't have to go through this area and fight, but I'm going to do it anyway. Thinking that it would be relatively easy, and honestly, it looks like a pretty easy setup here. Obviously, things can go wrong if we get some unfortunate misses or dodges, but... I think maybe we go Grape Shot here. I'm going to try a different strategy. We're going to go for, like, AoE attacks uh, while, we have the, while we have their attention. I think we will go for the stun. Yeah, let's try it. Did some damage. Let's did stun them. With them being stunned, maybe we say no to the AoE, actually. And uh, let's intimidate, because if we push this guy by back, he might not have an attack that he can actually throw out. He might have to pass his turn. All right. He resisted the debuff and the move. Uh, at least we resisted his bleed, though. And stressful incantation on our most stressed out unit. Seemed dangerous, but we made it work. Try a quick harvest on the back here. Uh, the bleed will not get a kill, but the stun is going to wear off. We might be able to get a kill before they can do anything, like a hue. Might get two kills. Ah, beautiful. Little stress relief, which we kind of desperately needed. And then a kill. I don't like this setup as much as the other uh, like setup that we've been rolling, can be filled. but it can seems be like it's working out okay. Um, who likes books? Occultists, I think. Nothing must be left unopened except for those books, right, Mathis? God forbid you educate yourself. Thank you for the 500 gold. I was going to open it anyway, but thanks for the gold nonetheless. So we know we have one more room. Uh, one more room of combat, I should say. So we, we might have some encounters in this section. Resisted the bleed, which I appreciate. Ignore the books, thank you. Uh, to watch out for stress, I'm going to crank up our light a little bit. No reason to take any more than is strictly necessary. We know we're going to have an encounter in this last room. So what I'm going to do to hopefully mitigate the effects of that is, you know, eat all the food that we can. Thank God we took two shovels. That would have been some nasty stress. Eat the food. A little bit of heal as well. And... Okay. It's going to be our last encounter. Might as well get to 100 light for maximum light, surprise chance. Might as well eat all our food. Yeah, I wanted to give some to the tankier units because they heal a little bit more. But anyway, onwards and upwards into this room. We do have a skeleton key, so I really... Oh, that's so awesome. I really want to open this chest and see what we get. I think we are going to go for the tank, because I think with one free turn, we might have a good chance of getting something awesome done here. If we can not, we probably won't be able to kill it, but if we can get close, just close. Uh, your bleed resist is so high, but it's six to nine damage is okay, and, you know, the nine end of that is great, and we did get the bleed on that, which is actually just ridiculous. That's an unfortunate dodge, but uh, that's okay. What's your stun resist, 95? I think we just go for the self-heal and the attack. It'll probably take us one more turn to kill the Corpse Eater. Well, it'll definitely take us one more turn because we're on the next turn, but you get the idea. They didn't get hit by the Bleed again. That's okay. Munch. That's probably... I can't remember. I think that's Blight. We haven't fought these guys in a little while. All right, so the Corpse Eater's dead. We're going to finish this mission just fine, which is kind of surprising after that really terrible start that we had. Um, what's your stun resist? 95 as well? Kind of crazy. We don't need party heals at this point, because I really doubt we're going to end up... Oh, How my God. The tide well, she's going to heal herself, but... Um, I really doubt we're in that much trouble. I went for the hue, because I'm thinking that Grape Shot can probably finish the, the fight on both of them next. The Blight on the Jester sucks, but uh, if he gets to go next... Which he doesn't. Come on. Alright, we got double Blight. So, Anti-Venom's coming out, because we can't take it with us anyway. Might as well go for... Uh, well, might as well go for the self-heal and the attack, and then we can just use, uh, like, Wicked Slice, and, or Wicked whatever. Yeah, Wicked Slice too. We'll get the kill. Lovely. Remind Mission's over, that was an easy one. Slow and the key unlocks a hidden compartment, on which we find uh, a dodge stone, and some jade, and a decent amount of money. It more than paid for itself. Ever so, so slightly, at least. 
And uh, just work that's all right. Them. Anybody hit level four? Not quite. Quill gets natural eye for better ranged accuracy. That doesn't seem that good. And uh, Josh gets obsessed with cleanliness and some extra ruin scrounging. I wonder if those traits that seem like obsessed with cleanliness, if those are like um, uh, stuff that uh, affects the dice rolls when it comes to resolve being tested. Does any unit need to have its stress taken care of? I'm not sure. So we wanted to go to the stagecoach, and we're looking for a healer, and we got one. So, sorry, I, I feel like we get rid of our lowest unit. So, you're going to be dismissed, Fitzherbert. We're going to take a second Another vessel. Soul battered and broken. And Cast is a level one unit torch. here capable of actually going on this mission? Because I, I want to kill the Swine Prince. We'd be sending out Liza Minnelli. It'll be her final mission in that category one way or the other. Um, so it would be her with... You know, pretty much the skills I like, although we might get rid of If It Bleeds to put on Iron Swan. And then our Bounty Hunter in probably the number two slot, no, no, number three slot, because we'll have our unproven Crusader come out there. He's pretty much got the right abilities. Uh, we might give him Holy Lance. Ruins Phobe, less stress, resist, and obsessed with the paranormal. And uh, then our healer, obviously we're going to have to change their abilities, but... Or we could put out our, yeah, Healer, Highwayman, Crusader, Liza Minnelli, or I'd rather not have the Highwayman, I guess. I'd rather have the Bounty Hunter. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go to the guild quickly. And our Healer, we are going to unlock Divine Grace, and we're going to, oh, we can't upgrade it yet, but we can give you level one. <laughs> And is this what I want? I would want Judgment, I would want the Stun, I want the Party... I mean, I don't really want the Party Heal, but that's fine. We're gonna roll you in the fourth slot anyway. Then, we'll have our Crusader. I want him to have this, this, uh, maybe Stunning Blow. And maybe Holy Lance. Like, get rid of these ones. He's gonna be in the second slot, so that makes sense. We can't upgrade them yet, that's okay. Um, Liza Minnelli. She needs to be buffed, obviously. Throw her in. The, oh, she's at level two, and I haven't upgraded any of her skills. That's good. It's because I had Kate, I guess. So she's gonna get that upgraded. That does not need to be upgraded. I would like Breakthrough to be upgraded, and we'll give her uh, Iron Swan and upgrade it. Barbaric Yop definitely doesn't need to be upgraded anymore. Uh, and our Crusader, we've already done that. Our Healer, we've already done that. So it's gonna be our Bounty Hunter, who actually is level one. So we're gonna upgrade. I think I, I kind of like the position that we've got them in, but uh, we'll we'll upgrade Collect Bounty. M gives Mark a higher accuracy and a chance to crit. I don't think that's worth it. Level one for that is fine. Higher crit, higher accuracy. Uh, does more damage against stunned monsters. I think that's worth it. Flashbang gets higher accuracy. I think that's worth it as well. And then, you know, I know we're spending a lot of money here, but we're going to go to our blacksmith. Liza Minnelli is going to be super buffed here. Uh, d d who else do we have on this mission? We have Fines. Fines is going to be super buffed. As much as he can, anyway. He doesn't have the levels to get much higher, but um, Vernon, I don't even think we can upgrade him at all. And that'll be the same for our healer. So that's going to do it for now. And we're going to provide for our next mission to go out and take out the Swine Prince. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.